All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my original equation, uh, sorry, the original problem here. So I rewrite 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. And now this is the same thing as, you can rewrite 901 as 900 plus 1. So this is the same thing as 9, 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Now, there is an important exponential property that you guys should know. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And using this property, we can rewrite it as 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 900 and, or sorry, 9 to the power of 1. Now from here, notice how we have two terms here. Our first term is 9 to the power of 900, and our second term is 9 to the, 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So because both of our terms have 9 to the power of 900 in them, we can factor that out. So we can factor our 9 to the power of 900, and we get 9 to the power of 900 times, well, 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is 1, minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is simply just 9 to the power of 1. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify what's in my parentheses here. 1 minus 9 is negative 8, so I have 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. And I can rewrite negative 8 as... 8 times negative 1. And now I'm going to multiply negative 1 with 9 to the power of 900. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. Now from here, I'm going to, I can rewrite my 9 here as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of 900 times 8. And now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So I have ne negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. And now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this can equal negative 3 to the power of 2 times 900. And now I have this times 2 to the power of 3. And if you guys already didn't know, 2, to the power, two times 900 is 1800, so I have negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is our answer in its most simplified form. We can't, if, if you want, you can try putting in 3 to the power of 1800, but that number is way too big for any calculator to actually be able to output. So this is the simplest form that we can put our answer in. So that is our answer to 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901 and see how much big of a difference it is.